Hey everybody, I had to come back on here real quick and make another quick video just to clear something up. I had a rather rude comment uh, and, and I was reported for misinformation by this very, very well informed person because um, he didn't agree with what I was saying about what's going on out in North Carolina. And he said, I didn't have anybody on the ground out there that was telling me these things. Well, you're wrong about that, sir who, by the way, he's now muted from my channel. I don't know if he'll hear these words or not, but I do have people out there. I, I do have people that live in um, the eastern part of Tennessee near, near this area. I know quite a few people that live in the area of southwest Virginia and going out into North Carolina. I actually have a family member who lives just outside of Asheville, and that area was pretty hard hit as well. And I do have neighbors here where I'm from who have been going out there and taking supplies. I have seen local church members talk about taking supplies out there and where they've left those supplies at. But apparently this person only watches one news station and they're not covering anything that's going on. We all know that. And by the way, this person had to bring up the name of one of the political candidates who apparently he disagrees with, but I'll move on. I didn't mean to get political on this channel, but I did want to come and clear that up because um, misinformation, as this guy said, listen, it's everywhere. If you know, if, if you have enough sense to pull your head out of the dark and go watch something other than one particular news channel, you might find what's really happening. If you look these people up, there are many channels dedicated to that area. To j Just type in Western North Carolina. Just type in um, Hurricane Helene Aid. And you'll find many videos. You can find many, many videos right here on YouTube of people that live right there in that area that are showing with their cell phones and are showing people coming in there to help and the people that are not coming in there to help. And I'm sorry if it hurt this guy's feelings that someone disagrees with him politically. Like I said, I didn't come here to get political, but I'm not going to be accused of spreading misinformation on something that is very obvious. Uh, people that have tried to apply for this $750 down um, windfall and have been denied and turned down. People who are, have been stuck in the hills of North, of North Carolina for 10 to 12 days now with no communication, no food, no water. And it's all right there. But I guess that's inf misinformation as well. But once again, like I said, I didn't come here to get political. But if people are going to accuse me of something, then post, the, post in the comments where I'm wrong. Post in the comments where these things are lies and misinformation. Don't just come and accuse somebody of something and not have anything to back it up with. But like I said, that person's muted from my channel. I would rather lose subscribers than to have someone like that who only wants to fight and argue over something like a hurricane victim asking for help and being denied. And so I just wanted to come back and say that to everybody, if you read comments in the comment sections of my videos that are demeaning or accusatory or whatever, don't worry, just give it a few minutes and those comments will be deleted. I'm all for people offering me corrections if I get something wrong. If you if you see something that I've said in one of my videos that is not right, then post the link to what is right, and I will make a correction. I'm all for being corrected if it's done the right way. But he didn't offer any information. He didn't show me where he's on the ground in North Carolina taking supplies to people. Um, he didn't show me where the things that I said in my video were for false or misleading. He just accused me of that, and I told him to uh, very kindly find another channel to find someone to argue with, and good day.
an observation that I took from a channel that I follow on here was that uh, when when she started building her channel, and she has probably five or six, seven times as many uh, subscribers as I do, but she said that she starts getting more and more trolls. Now, we all know about trolls. Trolls have been around as long as the Internet has been around. They're like hecklers at a um, stand-up comedy act. If someone, you know, is in the audience uh, heckling the, the performer, but nothing in the title of my video, there was nothing in the title, the uh, thumbnail picture, nothing in that video. If you were scrolling through YouTube looking for something to watch and you happen to come upon that video, nothing in the title would say to you, uh, the person in this story, they're going to be talking about politics or they're going to be talking about North Carolina uh Hurricane Helene and the survivors and the lack of help and so forth. So as this person that I watch and follow here on um, this platform said that she believes that oftentimes these hecklers or trolls are within, within the, um, in, are from the inside, if you know what I'm getting at, the, the, platform itself has people that goes through as you're editing your video and as you're you know it sometimes it takes a little while to get the video to finish editing and to post you have, you know they do what they call checks they check for copyright infringements and so forth so because like i said if someone was looking for stories on North Carolina, if they were looking for stories, if they were looking for someone speaking about the the very small portion of that video that I posted about that subject, they would not have found that in the title. They would have kept scrolling. They wouldn't have found that in the title of my channel because it's uh, unsettled, Unsettling Appalachia. It's about unsettling stories and um, I'm from Appalachia, so, <laughs> but it's basically uh, let's talk true crime is the underlying, you know, um, it's about true crime. And frankly, what's happening in these, these counties and states where this happened, that is true crime, in my personal opinion. I may get some negative feedback on this video as well, but like she said, and I followed that um, belief that the people that see and hear and view your video before it's posted to your channel for the rest of the public to, to see it or your subscribers is um, probably behind a lot of the negative comments and saying stuff like report for misinformation. I mean, who who would think... You know to do that who would think to report a video for misinformation based on someone's personal opinion so there you have it and um, someone else told me that as they got closer and closer to becoming monetized which I you know am nowhere close to that at this point and have didn't start this channel for that purpose I've seen people who say, I started my YouTube channel and within days I was monetized. I had thousands of subscribers. Um, it's not about that for me. For me, it's about talking about these stories. And, and, and I do interject my own personal opinions. And I do talk straight from just sitting here with my phone turned on and talking about this stuff. So like I said, there was nothing in that video um, title to lead someone to say I'm going to listen to this because they have something to say about the storm about the um, cleanup efforts about the you know people helping or not helping so therefore that's what makes me think that the comments come from within and that's just one more personal opinion of mine Thanks for watching.